so happy that I got these figures, man. This Ann O'Brien is stacked. She got ass. Alright, I'm sleepy. I'm getting delirious. I'm going to bed. Man, I used to play the trap spot, propped on the block like I was part of the backdrop. Now it's scale, props, effects, and backdrops. The right lighting, you never catch me biting. Say you make it look so real when you pose the biggest fighting. I caught lightning, stuck it in the detour. Replicate epic scenes from the pre war. Compose pieces with artists that span the globe. Fearsome foes, Spidey in the picture perfect pose. Insert the comic book, cut out to shoot a show. Oh, you ain't know? Yo, everybody know me. I made nerds. Cool, cooler, like my man Zoe. Took the everyday display, gave it a spark. Welcome to articulated comic book art. Book art, book art, book art. Wave 19, DCUC. Legion of Superheroes 12 pack. It's like Hasbro is afraid to do something like this, man. Could you imagine? Joke on Harley Quinn, two pack. It's pretty nice. Crime Syndicate, five pack. Everything's looking good. Well, this was the rest, rest of my stuff that I sent to myself from uh, San Diego Comic Con. Two more Thors, two Swamp Things. Packaging for Swamp Thing was just really, really dope. One of these is from my man Nando, though. Um, Dal Sim, Soda. I had to crack them open halfway. The rest of the series from the legendary comic book heroes Monkey Man Wave, Darkness, which I'm so happy about. Um, the extra Monkey Man leg because I had an extra figure. This is a box of goodies here. Some stuff that my. I'll, I'll break this out and show some pictures, but um, a man from Brazil with love had bought us some uh, little miniature like soda bottles and stuff that we could use for ACBA from, from Brazil actually. And we divvied them up amongst each other to get the uh, different ones the Fanta, the Coke, the Sprite, and some heads from Solid Snake that he had for me for the longest. That I had uh, loaned out to him or gave him gave him to do a custom, but he'd end up using them, so he gave them back, which was cool. So yeah. Artemis, Got my hero clicks Ant Man, which actually broke off of the base in transit, which is fine because I was gonna break it off anyway. So that's fine. At least he's not damaged and he's in great condition. Some twisty ties I saved. Good old toy biz. And the monkey man glasses, which mad people be losing. Make sure I have mine. So my quick thoughts on the Sentinel. I think it's good. Um, I like the fact that it's a little more bulky than the other one. I mean, the look is the the classic look. I love the head scope. I love the fact that it's got a lot of sound effects. But it's a bit um, toy toyish looking to me. I mean, it looks more like a toy than a collectible to me. Um, and I think it could have been a little more a little more detailed. Somebody mentioned, I think it was my man Todd, I was saying about the, the muscles and the, uh, and it, you know, as opposed to it looking like metal or, or steel or something, you know, it looks kind of muscular, which is kind of crazy for a robot. I don't particularly care for that look either. I think they could have made the chest plate more detailed. Uh, it's just a couple of more things that could have went into it, but overall it looks dope and I've been seeing a lot of people post up, um, pictures on the, uh, ACBA group on Facebook and, and making it look ill, but... Should have been more articulation, more detail, and I think they should have uh, maybe not put the the muscle effects on the uh, on the figure. But I really really like the head scope. I, I'm just I'm just uh, I wasn't overly impressed about it, and that's why I'm not really hard pressed to uh, to open them. 
Um, but these fingers should have definitely been articulated, man. It should have just been more articulation, ab crunch, the fingers, and, and then it would have been a crazy sick figure. But, you know, overall, it's it's cool. It's decent. It's nice for ACBA. It's nice to go with your, with your uh, universe figures, no doubt. So I didn't go too crazy as far as figures. I spent 30 for Thor, 30 for Swamp Thing, 65 for um, the Sentinel, 90 for the whole legendary comic book heroes, uh, Monkey Man. Wave and um, 12 for Del Sim. That's the only figures that I bought. Everything else was spent on flight, hotel, eating. I didn't go too crazy this year on figures because I had gotten a couple of uh, my muskets right before Comic Con. I got the uh, Absorber Man, the Ice Man, and the um, and the uh, and the uh, Dragon Man. And I didn't even spend too much on those. I got good deals on those too. So uh, I got to chill out right now before New York Comic Con. Messing around with mad DC stuff today. Too bad I wasn't filming any of the other stuff. Package. All right, so this was a package from my girl Star Sapphire. Hooked up some stuff for the FSP. A mint on card Martian Manhunter. Um, Spider Man series Venom, three and three quarter inch. This is a nice figure. Uh, I don't even know what this guy's name is. Power Girl, both DCUC figures though. And the uh, left leg to Imperiex, uh to the uh, Collect and Connect uh, figure there. And she sent that extra Thor, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Thor. Uh, for so to give out in the FSP too. So big thanks to Star. I'm gonna add this stuff into the FSP, and we looking good, man. Yo, guy. I love this figure, man. Street Fighter figure is about to be my new favorite, man. It's gonna knock out Marvel Legends. <laughs> Just kidding. But these shits is hot. Good old Marv. It's a great figure, man. Just crazy detail. Dark figure, but a lot of nice detail in the figure. Great articulation, even though the jacket is on him. He still has all retains all his articulation under the jacket, so I can still get him into this little cool running pose here. Wouldn't be able to do that without an ankle pivot. This is a great figure, man. All of the, all of them pretty much have the uh, peg hole on the back too. Peg holes on the feet. It's just a great figure. Let's see if I can get them to stand up again. Where's hanging? Just taking some more pictures. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, we here with my man Nando. What's up? Look at that shirt right there, son. Represent. Chilling at my crib. I just got a message on Facebook from uh, Rocco <laughs> the Great. Rocco the Great. And he had posted uh, in, uh, in the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, Facebook group and drew some pictures. I liked one of his pictures. And so he drew a picture of me. Oh, he just wrote back to me. <laughs> and he drew a picture of Bug right here. Son, look at that, son. That shit is hot, man. <laughs> I thought that was bad funny. With the ACBA shirt. The Harlem hat. With a Harlem hat. Some long eyelashes. I do got long spider, eyelashes. No homo. You should hold this little spider right here. Oh, my goodness. I thought that was mad funny. So big shout out to Rocco the Great. And I thought that was pretty cool. Hopefully I could get this picture and post it up somewhere. Alright, we here in the Room of Doom, Nando, checking out the collection and shit. I, it ain't too often that I actually really even show y'all my, my whole room like that and shit. 
you motherfuckers are lucky now. So, you know, just getting a little shot of the cases and the shit on the wall. And some shit that I'll never show y'all. It's a big ass hole in my door right there. <laughs> you were mad, son. You were fucking mad. Mm. A single case right here. You could kind of see me in a reflection. It's how the rest of my room looked, though. Regular shit. Flat screen. Sound system and shit. Optimus Prime over there. My bed. Let him get a glimpse of my my addition to your display. Um, right here. Nando added in the Spider Man up in the Ev McGinn and Spider Man for those who don't know. Punisher joint. We here, man. Shoot. About to crack open this next beer. Shooting this shit. This is where I shoot all of my pictures at most of the time. I've been keeping this case, uh, this top shelf open for something special that I'm waiting for actually too. That's why I just leave it bare and I, I shoot all my pictures and stuff here and just change up this little backdrop. Some people have been asking. This is just wood. It's just painted wood. Something simple. The, the most simple backdrops make for nice pictures though if you don't know. My X-Men display that I've been working on. Portrait. Nando messing with the Dragon Man there. Galactus. I still need to be organizing my wall more. There's still more stuff that I want to hang up. I'm going to probably end up doing the whole room. I still got a whole bunch of stuff and package that I need to get situated. Fantastic Doom Bot, Fantastic Four Doom Bot right here. I'm going to review this figure one of these days. A couple of people have been asking me about that. I do have one loose and I, and I do have one in, in package. I'm going to review them. I don't know if it's just mine, but the mechanics of mine is kind of awkward. And that's why I don't I don't display them too much. I like them. He's a pretty sick figure. But it's a nice figure though. It is a really nice figure though. And, and like a lot of people, I said this before in another episode, but a lot of people don't know that like this is a version of a Doombot that has appeared in the comic books. Spider-Man comic books. So and and it appeared in uh in Doom War too. If mm. you look back at Doom War, it appeared mm. in there too. I but remember him in a Spider-Man. Give y'all some more looks at shit. I don't got no sock drawers, son. I got figure drawers. All my universe stuff mm. in here. Chisels Frost up. Giants. Uh, a couple of those got the um, waist level too. I always forget too that the uh, it's a light up feature on this figure too, so the eyes light up too, which is which is pretty damn cool. And it's a great figure, man. It's a mad articulation on this figure, but it's just he's just top heavy. Fingers even move. The toes. The toes. Everything. The knee. This turns around. It it's doesn't like even affect the jointed and shit. <laughs> so, so this is a Nando setup right here. I just transferred it here, but this is his posing. Thought it looked pretty cool. This is actually the first time that I changed out the hands on She-Hulk and had her without the gloves. I don't know why I never thought of doing that. Uh, this is the Comic-Con exclusive, so you could actually change out her feet and hands and put her in a business suit, but I thought this looked pretty cool. It's another Nando setup right here. Dark Avengers and Star as Miss Marvel. <laughs> oh, shit. But this looks pretty cool too. See, I had to put him onto the junior stand, son. Nando and and Charles Dukes is like the last two people with the with the uh, original Toy Biz flight stands, maybe. All right, this has been another episode of Meantime and Between Time. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Come join us on the ACBA Facebook group. Come sub us up on the ACBA community channel. Did a lot of stuff behind the scenes this week for ACBA, so shout out to everybody who worked with me on that special project. Uh, big shout out to my man Nando, who's still here chilling. That's right. And, um, you know, look out for tournament invites within the next couple of days. I got the uh, the language and things situated for the email. Look out for an invite on your YouTube, and then uh, I'll follow up with an email for anybody who's invited. It's going to take about a week or so to get things situated, even when I start sending out the invites. But look for those very, very soon. All right, talk to y'all next week. Peace.